Hi, I'm Albert Margolis, and I'm with American Music and Sound, and today I'm here with Kraft Music to show you the latest iteration of the stage, the Nord Stage 4. The Nord Stage 4 has a brand new panel layout. It's designed to be intuitive, straightforward, and inspirational. It's also designed to give you complete access at any given time of performance parameters that you need while playing, also while shaping your sound. One of the biggest things is that each section now has dedicated LED uh, readouts and faders that allow you to adjust the control and the level of each layer within the section while playing. And where that's important is while you're playing, you can fade in, fade out certain aspects of the organ, the piano, the synth section. You could even use a single patch pretty much to get through an entire gig that has all the different layers there and you're just fading between them throughout the different songs. So really incredible uh, in terms of power and flexibility. For those of you familiar with the previous stage models, this is a, an incredible advantage because before you had the ability just to choose between an A and a B. Now you can have the A and the B simultaneously and fade between them within the single source or amongst the sources within the instrument. So you could bring up uh, a single drawbar organ while holding a synth sound or fading out a piano going into the next section or just bring everything out and just have the piano into the next section just by the mirror up and down of the faders. Very powerful. Other exciting features are within the synth section. It's based on the Nord Wave 2 synth. There are essentially three layers of Nord Wave within this, within this stage. You can fade between them, you can have three independent sounds, and you bring up any analog, sample, FM, digital wave. Uh, you can even control external MIDI devices and have that all within this, this panel right here. There's also a new display showing you some very detailed wave iterations and, and other various things that allow you to go through and program very simply. The next exciting feature is, lies within the synth section, which is now based on the Nord Wave 2. You essentially have three different uh, waves that you can bring up at any given time, and you can also fade between them and mix them on the fly. These can be anything from uh, virtual analog, samples, FM, digital waves, and even external MIDI going to a, a separate synthesizer. There's an improved display that shows you the type of wave that you're using and gives you complete control and you can see it all visually. Very, very powerful. All the major panel functions are here. You can adjust the filter, you can adjust the resonance, you can adjust the cutoff. All the things you would expect from a modern synthesizer are right here for you to do on the fly. One of the most exciting features is that every model of the stage, the 88, the HP, and the 73 Compact, all come with physical drawbars now and they're physical drawbars with LED readouts. So, not only can you see what the preset is telling you that the drawbars are set at, but you can also then vary what you need to vary to either adjust or amend or complement what's on there. But that, that real-time control that most people that are using the, the Hammond-type organs have come to, to love and enjoy, you can now do with every model of the Stage 4. Another great feature of the Stage 4 is that you now have in the effects section independent effects for every single layer. So when you do a setup, every single layer has its own independent effect. You could have reverb on one, you could have a delay on another, you could have a separate reverb on a third. You don't have to combine them anymore and all of those can be stored in anywhere of, a, of 512 preset slots that are within memory, which are also very easily recalled. So you can, you can do just layers, you can do complete setups. It makes it extremely powerful and very, very um, powerful on the fly to be able to pull up different songs and different things. You don't have to worry about readjusting on the fly because it's already done for you in the preset section. The very first preset, which is called NS4 Palette, is a great way to show off some of these new features. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a little bit for you. And that's a multi-layered sound. You can, you can hear there's, there's a... There's maybe a piano, some strings, um, there's maybe a little organ in there. So with this new panel design, you can, as I mentioned, be able to pull things in and out. Like that's, that's just the electric piano there. This acoustic piano, mix those two together, bring in some synth. Pull the rest of it out with the organ there. And then bring in 
some of the... All this was not possible with the previous iterations of the Nord stage, but now you can have that kind of flexibility and power live. The other feature that, is, that has been added is the independent effects for each layer. So I could have... Here's sort of a hall reverb there on that piano. Room reverb on that piano. But when blended together, on that little bit of the synth even has a little more reverb. But independent, not affecting those other parts. So in terms of being able to do some really in-depth sound programming and some very big sort of stereo field presentations of the sound, much more powerful than previous generations. Another example of the arpeggiator, the synth section, the piano section all together, uh, is this preset called Pinky Lead, A65. Now you can adjust the rate of the arpeggiator. You can also set it to the pedal to be done in real time. All the, the clock can be set that way, which is great. In previous iterations of the Nord stage, the key sensor was only using two, one at the beginning of the keystroke, one at the end of the keystroke, uh, which for a lot of situations are fine, however, the Nord Stage 4 borrows from the Nord Piano 5 its triple sensor. And what that means is things like, you can trigger without having the key to have to come all the way back. When you only had two sensors, you had the down and the up. And in order to trigger the down again, the up had to be re-triggered. But now, since there's one in the middle, much more natural piano triggering on those types of types of kinds of performances. The other thing is that there are a wealth of new piano sounds um, in the library that are always updating, so definitely check back into the Nord site to see what's been added to your Nord stage, because they will continue over the years to add more and more to the library, increasing the value of what you already have. As I mentioned before, all the models of the Nord stage four now have physical drawbars, along with LED readouts. Why do you need both? Well, for the simple answer that when you change a preset, your drawbars may not be in the exact position that the preset's in. Here's an example, look at this right here. Here is uh, A11, it brings up this combination of drawbars, I happen to have it set a different way. Of course, I can change that and allow that to happen, but it basically would sound like until I bring these other drawbars in. And so I can change the preset that's on there, but it'll bring it up, show it to you, displayed in LED. You don't have to guess where it's at, and you can decide whether that's what you want or if you need to amend it on the fly, which you can now. As I mentioned before, you can have now effects for each individual layer, independent effects. And they can be any combination of stereo, mono, and, and actually there's a couple of new effects that I'll go over in a minute. But I mean, here's, a, here's an example of a stereo panning effect on, uh, on a Rhodes electric piano. So these can be independently added to any one of the layers. The only exception is that the organ gets one global for both. But uh, each of the pianos can be separate, each of the synths can be separate, and then the organ itself is, is one, of, one of separate. And um, that's all controlled by here. There's a couple of new effects that we should mention. One is called pump. And pump, if you can imagine, is like a, um, a sidechain compressor effect. Um, 
what sidechain compression is, is you would assign an audio input into the compressor. Typically in like an EDM music, it's a, it's a bass, bass drum because it's pretty consistent going boom, 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 boom. And every time that, that transient hits, it tells the compressor to do something. And typically it's, it's ducking, it's pulling the volume down. So that, that, that pumping sound, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'll, I'll, I'll give you some demonstration. Um, comes from that, that effect, and that's now in here. The second new effect is called spin. It's essentially a Leslie type effect, but it doesn't affect the Leslie uh, on the organ, so it's completely separate. You can apply it to the electric pianos, store it away, and then when you bring it back up as a preset, it's its own Leslie separate from the actual Leslie control that you have on the organ. Uh, again, a lot of power in the effects section. So a good example of the, the, the pumping or the sidechain compression type effect, uh, A25, it's, in fact, it's called sidechain wheel. Um, and if you notice here in, in this section of the effects is where it's all taking place, where you've got an amount and a rate. Um, the preset sounds something like this. You can hear the, the tempo. I can bring in a filter. So very much like that same effect. And that, that tempo also can be assigned to uh, a pedal. So if you're doing it live and your drummer's varying tempo a little bit, because not all of them are exact metronomes, you can ride along with him and keep it, keep it in tempo, which is great. But you can also adjust it here on the panel as well. And get the same effect. But that's the pump effect. And here's a good example of one way to use the spin effect. You know, a lot of people would like to put a Leslie type effect on an electric piano, and it would sound something like this. With overdrive. spin. In addition to the new effects, there are some updated effects, some combinations. Uh, you can do reverb with corral, and it gives you a, I don't want to say it's a chorusing, but it's similar. I'll, I'll play something called the Aeon Pad that gives you that, that really demonstrates what that does for you, that combination of reverb and corral. It's a little bit of modulation going on. Another new effect is the spring reverb. So I'm going to pull up a uh, chorus caster, which is a sort of a strat sound, run it through an amp, uh, through, through a twin. Twins typically have spring reverbs, but this is dry without the reverb. <laughs> and as I start bringing the spring reverb in, good emulation of a spring reverb and by the way you can hit the amp and it doesn't go boing. Another new effect is this dynamic compressor that is located right here if you notice it's now on. While pianos by the nature of their name piano forte go from low to high should give you the ability to go from very low volume to very high volume by adjusting your velocity. What a compressor does is that it sort of squeezes it a little bit, makes your highest notes come down a little bit, possibly your lowest notes in terms of not, not uh, pitch, but volume come up a little bit. So what used to be your dynamic range from your lowest volume to your highest volume now gets like this. Where that's important is while playing in a band setting, sometimes those low passages are masked by the bass player or the drummers or the guitar player. 
This way, it, it sort of keeps your dynamic range uh, smaller so that you can, with the volume control, kind of raise yourself above the fray and not peak out too much, but at the same time not lose too much. Um, here's, a, here's an example, this, this long dark wheel A31 preset. If I just barely touch the, it's still making, and if I pound it, it doesn't get much louder. So it really, the dynamic range stays within here. It can be adjusted here, because this is what it would be naturally, the lowest to the highest. But if I crank up the compression, the extreme, that's the lowest, that's the highest. Not much difference in, in overall volume, but you can vary in between that by utilizing this knob. So if you're doing low passages like this, it's still going to rise above where the band is. You notice the timbre doesn't change, doesn't get affected because that, that's what a, that intense string resonance down there is what you would expect out of a low note with a lot of velocity, but it doesn't give you the volume. It still gives you the timbre, but it doesn't give you the volume. And because of that, it allows you to, to take that dynamic range and sort of sit above the mix a little bit. Great in a, great in a live situation. So let's dig into the piano section a little bit here. I've pulled up one of the new uh, piano sounds that are in the library called Hi-Fi Grand. And if you notice on the panel, we've got string resonance enabled, we've got pedal noise enabled, uh, heavy touch enabled, and uh, the timbre is on bright. So that would give you probably something good for rock and soul music and something that where you want the piano to pop, but here's what it sounds like. You listen to the low string resonance as I hit this really low D. And then way up here in comparison. Very natural. Tons of detail, tons of playability, just a great sounding instrument. As I mentioned before, all three models of the Nord Stage 4 now come with physical drawbars. It's great for playability, great for making it sound and feel like it's a true Hammond experience. I'll just walk you through the organ section here. I mean, you've got, right here, you've got the Leslie. Um, applied to the organ, the amount of overdrive that you might want. If uh, the mode of the Leslie, if you wanted to go from corral to stop, uh, fast to stop, sort of the jazz setting. Now that just it'll just stop as a right in front, the, the speaker's right in front. You can also have it go from fast to slow. Now it's slow mode, where it's still going, and then it speeds up. You can adjust the mic placement to be in the center, to the left, to the right, close and far. There's a lot of, lot of variability in this Leslie, which is great. Um, two separate organ sounds that you can have. You can blend between them, almost like having, having double manuals, but it's on the single manual. Um, you can split the keyboard to do, to do one of each, which is, which is great as well. Now let's head over to the synth section. I've got one layer that's here, and it's a pure saw wave. Um, and I'm just simply going to adjust the, uh, the filter frequency and resonance like you would on a normal analog synth and give you a sense of how super analog this really is. It's just filter frequency. And then increase the resonance. And these filters can be adjusted 12 dB, 24 dB uh, per octave, uh, ladder, step. There's, a, there's an amazing amount of flexibility within them. But, uh, but just to give you a sense of what you can do really off the fly from a preset, there's some really nice filter sweeps there. Here's an example within the synth section that utilizes the arpeggiator, um, uh, a wave, some white noise, some other various things to create a very interesting uh, and playable preset.
pretty cool. Here's another example of a single layer and just adjusting the filter frequency and resonance. Really two knobs that are right there. Um, real easy to make a great synth sound. So that's the Nord Stage 4. I'm really only just scratching the surface. This thing could do a lot more than what I've shown you. But what I really wanted to point out is some of the best features that it has and some of the improvements that it has over its predecessors. I hope I've done that for you. My name is Albert Margolis. I'm with American Music and Sound. And thank you to Kraft Music for giving me this opportunity to present the Nord Stage 4. For a great deal on the Nord Stage 4, be sure to check out the bundles at Kraft Music. Kraft has put together some packages, including the Stage 4, a carrying case, pedals, cables, everything you need for the gig. There's even a really sweet home bundle for the 88 that includes a matching red furniture stand, a triple pedal, headphones, and Nord monitors. <laughs>